Hey YouTube, welcome to Real Men Get It Done. Uh, if you have not, please hit that button, like, subscribe, share. Um, my video is really just about motivation, empowering uh, men and just others to get out your comfort zone um, and get it done. We have so many gifts and talents on the inside of us and sometimes we are scared to try different things, but I'm here to uh, hit that notion up against its head and say, men, we can do uh, a lot more than what we may be capable of. Um, so this channel is a labor of love. So uh, again, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. But anywho, on today's video, I am a big believer of consignment. And what does that mean? You know, just being able to um, reduce, reuse, recycle everything in, in clothing, shoes. Uh, I don't believe you always have to go out to the department stores and buy the latest and greatest brand new, but you can find a lot of great value in getting a gently used um, jacket or gently used um, uh, pair of shoes. And so I've kept that mentality throughout um, my lifetime and I'm passing it on to my kids, uh, helping them um, just be thoughtful about how they spend and just to know they can still get a great bargain, uh, not at full price. So today's video is going to be me actually setting up a few items, um, a lot of items, shoes in particularly to get them cleaned and ready to go so we can then put them up on our favorite websites. Um, favorite websites for me are Poshmark and eBay. Um, I have been less on eBay and more on Poshmark just because eBay in the past maybe year have changed some of their policies and so the actual um, seller doesn't get as much as they used to. Um, but I like Poshmark. It is a app that you can use. Very easy to upload uh, pictures, uh, communicate with that community and uh, get your items sold and uh, taken care of so that you can get money into your account. Now, when you get that money in your account, you can do a couple things. You can deposit into your bank account or you can leave the money there so that you can purchase other items through Poshmark, which is really cool. Um, so again, I've been really trying to instill that into my kids that, you know, for, for example, my son, he loves Jordans and, you know, he's a, a middle schooler. Uh, so he doesn't necessarily need to get the brand new $200 pair that comes out because he's a kid. And even when I was a kid, my parents didn't get me those shoes without me working hard for them um, and, and kind of instilling that, you know, this is just isn't something that you get just because. So I've done that for my son. I instill in him sometimes, you know, he'll work and maybe come up with half of the money to buy a new pair or we'll look at a gently used pair. And no one at the end of the day knows if it's new or not because it's on your feet. Um, but as long as it doesn't have any rips and tears, it's, it's good to go. No one knows. But again, I'm a strong believer in consignment. So this is what I'm working on today. And I will show you all. It is a plethora of shoes. So my process is fairly simple. I'm trying to cover this in probably three steps. So the first step is just being able to um, kind of survey what you're working with. Some of these shoes here, all of them are going to go up on a uh, Poshmark. Some may sell, some may not, and it's okay. But what we are going to do is that we are going to try to deep clean them. I have a couple of different methods that I'm going to show you guys that I use to clean shoes, clean them. Um, then we are going to actually, of course, clean and dry them and then get them ready for the presentation. But the first step, as I was mentioning, is just surveying what you have. And uh, I like to, as I'm looking at the shoes, seeing if they have potential. As I mentioned, every shoe may not sell, but I'm a firm believer of presentation. So a lot of these shoes, you know, not only need to be cleaned, but then as we are uh, cleaning them and, and getting them ready for sale, it's the presentation of how you take your picture and be able to kind of showcase that for the consumer. Because if it looks good, someone's going to be interested in buying. For me, I hate when I go on the website and I see people just, you know, throw up any kind of shoe without any kind of prep. And for some people that may be okay, but I'm a firm believer if, if it looks nice and it looks more appealing, somebody may be more apt to buy than not. So first thing is just surveying, seeing what we have. And we have a variety of shoes here from kids, basketball shoes to, um, you know, everyday shoes to workout shoes to some of my shoes. And we are going to uh, work on getting them clean in my two-step process uh, by hand. Some of them will actually go in the washing machine. Uh, because I found out that shoes, if you're washing them on Gento, do very well in the washing machine. And then we'll look to dry them and uh, do our presentation to get them up and sold. So that is what today's video is going to be about.
And for me, the last thing I'll say is at the end of the day, it's all a benefit and a profit because what would you normally do with shoes at the end of their cycle? You're gonna either try to give them to somebody else, hand them down, probably pass them off to Goodwill, or if they get too uh, um, rather tattered, you're gonna throw them away. So it's all a benefit for all these shoes because those are kind of the, the life cycle of what will end up happening to them. So any potential income that'll come in from them are good. And as I said, what we can use with that income is flip them to buy more shoes. So you're kind of keeping a nice little funnel going um, for uh, buying shoes for yourself or for your kiddos. So here we go. All right, so here's my setup. As I mentioned, step one is kind of evaluating what you have. Step two is actually moving forward with cleaning. So I have my setup here in my kitchen, uh, here in my sink. I have all the shoes. Uh, some of them will, will be an easy clean. Uh, some of them uh, will need a little bit more of a deep clean. Uh, and that my second step will be actually putting them and running them through the washing machine. Uh, we have some of them shoelaces separated, some of them not but all the shoes that get clean will end up going into the other basket so they can be in preparation to actually go in the washing machine. Uh, I believe there may be a couple of pair in here that don't need to go in the washing machine, but for the most part, they will go. Here are my cleaning tools. I use 409 for everything. So it's a degreaser, multi-surface cleaner. We're gonna use that, that's in the bottle right here. Miracle cleaning erasers work magic, especially on white shoes uh, to get some of the scuff marks and the dirt pieces off. Uh, I have an old two brush that I use. Some shoes that have suede and new buck, you have to kind of uh, use this to, to, to get this, the suede and new buck. Uh, it's an eraser in, in essence, essentially. And you can erase off the scuff marks and things of that nature. Another just scrub brush that I have for some of the shoes, an old sponge that's a kitchen one that has a dual side. Sometimes you have to scrub a little bit more and sometimes the eraser won't get it. So you have to actually grind it out and, and, and scrub a little bit harder. And then just an extra bucket that I have that I normally put, um, I'll have some hot water in here. In addition to, this is just a packet of uh, dish detergent just to have a little packet of kind of a soapy hot water and then just using the sink as well, um, just to make it happen. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue to get my, my products set up and then we'll move forward and begin cleaning the shoes.
Okay, here they all are. Cleaned by hand. The second go round is that they are going to actually be washed in the washer machine. All of them just on a gentle cycle to uh, deep clean them anymore. And also it's a great way to deodorize the shoe too as it goes to his next home. I just truly believe in, you know, um, putting your best foot forward when you're doing a consignment um, so that you're giving people good merchandise, not just, you know, oh crap. So this all will go in the washing machine and get cleaned. And then I'll show you after we take them out of the washing machine, how we dry them. Um, two methods. So when it gets colder and we do live in a warmer climate, but sometimes it's still cold outside, we will dry if it's a pair of two shoes on top of the uh, dryer. Um, just as the dryer goes, it'll help dry a little quicker. So my daughter been teaching her how to do her own shoes. So these are a pair of hers that she cleaned while I was doing my shoes and she doesn't leave those there to dry. But since we have such a big bulk, these will go outside because it's a nice day today. Uh, I think it's going to hit, you know, 60s, something like that. So or even 70s. So we'll put these outside for a few hours and they'll dry them after they hit the washing machine. Um, <laughs> but there's one thing I want to show for leather shoes just to make sure people knew of another cool method. So these are a pair of my son's Jordans that he has. And as you can see with kids, um, leather can get creases in them. One of the biggest things in terms of shoe folks that, that love shoes and they, they really want them to not have any creases. So a lot of these shoes have the mesh kind of background, but there will be some with some leather. And so I may have to do these for a few of the other ones uh, once I take them out the washing machine. These were nice enough that they didn't need to go into the washing machine, uh, but they were cleaned. And we're going to actually, uh, I have, you can do, uh, we're actually going to um, iron the crease out of it. Sorry, I'm just trying to get my thoughts together. But we're going to iron the creases out of them to make them more uh, applicable to sell. So as I say, you know, cleaned and freshened up, good and nice, look pretty good but we're gonna get those creases out so that they look even newer. All right, day two, everything is dried and we'll be ready to post this afternoon and get everything up on Poshmark. But as I mentioned, third step is actually the presentation. And I showed a little bit of that yesterday, um, but as I look to sell the shoes, um, I mentioned like for these ones, the leather ones, we've ironed the leather so it looks more presentable. And for a lot of shoes that I sell too, I put either tissue paper or plastic bags to make them full. Because when you're actually putting it up on to sale, it's a good presentation. So for example, these Jordans, as I'm putting them up, of course I'll have them by themselves, but I'll show the potential buyer all the angles of the shoe. So we see the front looks pretty good. We'll show the sides, the back, and most importantly, the soles, just to say they have a lot of life still left. And I may do a nice pose of putting them side by side, putting a pair together, just a nice presentation so that people can see that they are ready for their new home. So this concludes the process and the project of consignment and popping shoes up online. And as I said, it's all benefit, it's all profit. Uh, so that we can uh, recycle these to someone else and then uh, purchase more shoes for the kiddos or even ourselves. But they all came out really good in terms of getting washed and cleaning them. So I'm really excited about how all these ended up turning out. They all look really good. And there you have it. Real men get it done. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.